You won't see them, you won't hear them, but rare earth elements are inside nearly every piece of modern technology. 17 obscure metals, names like neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium. They are used in electric vehicles, smartphones, wind turbines, lasers, military radar, and even guided missiles. Despite their name, these elements aren't actually rare, but they are rarely found in concentrated mineable forms, and processing them is complex, toxic, and expensive. China, meanwhile, invested heavily offering subsidies, building supply chains, and tolerating pollution. China processes over 85% of the world's rare earth supply. By 2010, it became the undisputed global leader. That year, it cut exports to Japan over a territorial dispute. Global prices skyrocketed, and countries realized how dependent they had become. Since then, projects have restarted, like the Mountain Pass Mine in California and new ventures in Australia and India. But rebuilding full processing capacity takes time. So while the world talks about chips, batteries and AI, the real game is being played quietly, beneath the surface, because whoever controls rare earth elements controls the future.